In this video I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video into a new quiz uh, which you could use to uh, to basically have audio for for your students um, so let me show you that process so I've uploaded my video to YouTube uh, in this video it's basically just me uh, reading through the performance assessment and you can see I kind of navigate through the question through the questions through that video so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the share button and I'm gonna say embed so now this gives me the embed code uh, if you're using the new quizzes uh, this is basically uh, kind of the only way that we could figure out how to do this where uh, it embeds the video into the the assessment so you're gonna uh, do a couple of things here to this code before or sorry you're gonna hit this button actually I'm sorry you need to have some time so I'm gonna say start at one second because you need this part of that code to show up so I hit that I'm going to hit my copy button and now I'm going to go over to my quiz in Canvas and the way I have this set up uh, is we've got a stimulus question type for uh, for the left side here and then we've got some questions about that stimulus so I'm going to embed my audio here in the stimulus and then I'm going to do the same thing down here for this stimulus, but I'm going to do this one uh, to start at a different time. So I'm going to hit this pencil key. And then down here, and I'm going to just throw it in at the bottom. I'm going to hit this insert edit media, and I'm going to put the embed code in here. Now, I want to change this a little bit because I don't want it to be a giant video. Well, for this one I do, uh, but sometimes you may want to make this like a smaller thumbnail. So you can change this. The smallest it can be is 200 by 200 pixels. So you can change that to have that smaller size. For right now I'm going to leave it. Now, the reason why I had you put this uh, this code in is because I want it to start at a certain time. And for this one, for this half, I'm going to have it start at zero seconds. But I want it to end at... A minute, and, a minute and 38 seconds into the video. So I'm going to type in 98 because that's how many seconds uh, 90, uh, a minute and 38 is. And sorry, this shouldn't be in, this should be stop. So I'm going to have it start at the beginning and stop at 98 seconds. And then the rest of that I want to leave and I'm just going to hit OK. So now I've got the, uh, the video that embedded from YouTube there. I'm going to hit Save Stimulus. And now it's got the embedded video uh, right below there. And the students, when they are completing the assessment, they'll be able to hit Play. Unit 1 Performance Assessment and it reads the uh, reads that whole section for them okay so I'm gonna hit save stimulus and I'm gonna go down to the second part here I'm gonna hit the pencil again and I'm going to hit enter a couple times then I'm gonna embed that code again that same code but now I'm going to have it start at a minute 44. So that would be 104 
seconds. And this one, it's going to play in t until the end, so I don't need to add a, a stop sign or a stop symbol. So I'm going to hit OK. And just to check that that sounds about right, I'm going to hit play and see. Performance assessment part two. Answer the questions. So it's starting at performance assessment part two. So I'm going to save that. And now I've provided audio for those students who, uh, who have that accommodation that need the entire test read to them. So I hope that helps you out. Um, I know the embedding code can be, can be a little tricky, so if you have questions about it, uh, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you out with that. Uh, once you get it a couple times, it, it starts to become a little more natural. So uh, again, if you let me, if you need anything, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you out, uh, and I will see you later.